Wobblies, welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris, and in this episode, we're taking a look at seven pre packaged preparedness packs. All of these items were sent to us free of charge by Potty Packs. The way these packs are put together, each one can fit a specific situation or circumstance. Each pack could easily fit inside a purse, a go bag, a hiking pack, glove box in the car, center console of the car, your car's emergency box, or it could go in a beach bag. Point is, they're easy to take with you. First up is the pack that started it all, the putty pack. Next is the SH exclamation T kit. The park pack. I need rocks. The hydration pack. The first aid kit. The tick kit. And the period pack. Which I think I just sliced. We've previously done a pretty detailed review of the potty pack, the kit, and the park pack, and we'll put links to those videos in the description below. The potty pack's designed for those times when you encounter a bathroom that may not have everything that you need. It includes a toilet seat cover, tush wipes, The tush wipe is moist, it smells very nice, and it has aloe and vitamin E. Four feet of toilet paper, we measured it in a previous review. A moist towelette, and 3.5 mil of hand sanitizer. The SH exclamation T kit, or the kit, is designed for those times when you're out in the woods hunting, camping, and there maybe aren't any facilities around, but you can find a location of some privacy. Four feet of toilet paper, a tush wipe, moist towelette, hand sanitizer, and a bag. The bag's designed to pick up any solids after you've gone. Put your hand in the bag, slide it over and around, grab, and pull in. Then you can tie it up and dispose of it. The Park Pack. The Park Pack is one of my favorites and most used packs. It's designed to take if you're going to an outing or maybe a concert, some sort of event in the park, but I found it's also great for camping. It comes with two earplugs for when things are just a little louder than you want them to be. A moist towelette. Sting relief. The sting relief is an antiseptic and a pain reliever. It's in the form of a little cotton type pad, so you can rub it on your skin in the area of the bite or the sting. A tush wipe, again, for those times when you're at an event and no toilet paper is to be found in the facility. Instant hand sanitizer. The hand sanitizer contains aloe vera, insect repellent. This is one of the items I use most when we're out camping, especially summertime. It is a natural insect repellent, and it's a lotion that you just rub on. It has citronella and soybean oil, and it states it's non-toxic. Another part of the pack that I use a lot, especially in the summertime, is the sunscreen. 
The sunscreen is SPF 30 and PABA free. There's a liberal amount in here, 3.5 grams or an eighth of an ounce. And this sunscreen goes a long way. On a slope, things are moving. That's the sunscreen. And another thing that's included that I like to use a lot is the lip balm. The lip balm in the park pack is pomegranate flavored with vitamin E, beeswax, and other natural emollients. And it is thick. It's a little cool out this morning. And there's the lip balm. Let's use some of that lip balm. Mm. It smells good too. Next up is the hydration pack. The hydration pack includes a little towel. I love these little coin style compressed towels. You just add about a tablespoon of water. And they expand out. They're so cool. Love these towels. We often get them by themselves just to take camping with us, separate from the little packs. Aspirin, sunscreen lotion, lip balm, Metalite. The Metalite is two tablets and it contains electrolytes. And it also contains a little packet of Squincher Zero, which is an electrolyte replenisher says it has 100% of vitamin C in it. This Squincher Zero packet is orange flavored. It says it makes anywhere from 16.9 to 20 fluid ounces. Obviously I don't have that much water in this glass. It's mixed up very well even though it's concentrated in not enough water. Mm. That tastes good. Very orangey. Very nice. That is the hydration pack. Next is the first aid kit. Basic wound care. There are two sterile gauze pads. A nice open weave gauze. A nice size little wound bandage. An antiseptic wipe. It says it contains benzalkonium chloride. Instant drying hand sanitizer. Triple antibiotic ointment. And two aspirin. Since we haven't seen the triple antibiotic ointment in another pack, let's take a look at it. It's quite a thick ointment. I'll put its active ingredients up on the screen. The amount of triple antibiotic ointment in the little pack is half a gram. Next is the tick kit, an easy removal kit. You spend any time in the woods, grasses at all, brush, there's a chance you're going to pick up a tick. This little kit is just for that occurrence. It includes a pair of tweezers for removal of the tick. A little baggie to put the tick in. You could label it with the location that where you were maybe if that might help because ticks can carry disease. Then you would have the tick in case it needs to be studied to identify what disease it may be carrying. There's an antiseptic wipe. Insect repellent. So this might be good to take to help keep from getting bit by a tick. And a bandage to cover the tick bite if you wish. Last up is the period pack. It's a feminine hygiene pack. It comes with a tampon, a shout wipe and go. It's a small towel saturated with shout for spot cleaning of clothing. A panty liner. A moist towelette two crimp tabs. I'll put the ingredients down on the bottom of the screen. Instant hand sanitizer and a feminine wipe. This is very much like the tush wipes. Both have aloe vera 
and vitamin E in them, and both are flushable. So there you have it, the seven pre-packaged prepping packs that we have reviewed. The most advantageous thing about these packs is the convenience and they're ready-made and they can just slip into a pack or bag and you've got them with you. We'll put links to the Potty Pack website in the description below as well as any links to these items that may be on Amazon. In the comments, let us know what you think. Have you ever been to an event or out camping when one of these could have come in handy? And what are your thoughts on these single purpose packs versus buying in bulk and making your own? Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time. Oh, I lost my rock. <laughs>